I'm here on Monday and I'm at the um, ACVO office in Nairobi, Kenya. So here we are outside, um, three story building. Um, I'm going to go in now and um, meet the guys and uh, get back to you in a minute. So I'm here for the first time at the ACVO Nairobi office uh, with Phyllis. Phyllis, so tell me where, whereabouts are we based in Nairobi here? Um, we are based in Westlands. Westlands is about a five minute drive from the capital, Nairobi, and maybe about half an hour drive from the airport. So we're kind of in the middle of the business area. Okay, yes. so we used to be based in the Nilab, yes. which was an innovation hub. Yes, we were. But we've now moved in with Africa Interactive here. Yes. And what was the thinking behind that? Well, because uh, ideally Aqua is not a uh, startup, because at the Nilab they have ideally businesses, startups, they come there for a year, then they leave. And we almost spent a year at the Nilab, so it was time to move and make space for the rest of the incubates coming in. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, should we uh, go in and have a yes. look? Have a look around. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> so this is the main room, yeah. Yes, this is the main room. Um, so this we is share. our Aqua Hub. This is where you operate from. So there's, uh, there's Luke. There's me, Luke. And uh, Francis. And you sit over there first, don't you? Yes, sir. And then the team at Africa Interactive are over behind there. Cool. So then we've got the kitchen here, yeah? Yes, we do. Nice, spacious kitchen. Yeah. Um, and so we have a boardroom where we do our meetings, which is here. And uh, the boardroom currently has a seam vasen in it. Hey, Over from nice that, hey, seam. Um, and it's a nice room, this actually, for meetings, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's still a bit empty, but we just <laughs> moved out on the 1st of January. So now we're uh, bothering seam. Sorry, seam. But uh, <laughs> is it just, this is just for the board, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Phyllis, Phyllis has explained a bit about why we moved here. But give me a sense, I just want to ask a bit about what each of you has been working on over the past week or so. Okay. Um, last week, uh, I was out in Addis Ababa with uh, Charlotte doing an RSL training for Code Aid. And we were still working then on the track day. We're having the track day two days from now. That's Thursday the 23rd. So we're gearing up to the track day with lots of um, emails to send and confirmations for invitees and the speakers also. So we've been a little bit busy doing yeah. that. Um, great, so, and you've been working on all sorts of administrative aspects of yes. getting uh, everything with Aqua Kenya established over the last few months, yeah? Yes, we have. We started out with the registration process sometime last year. A lot uh, is required in the Kenyan law for new businesses, so other than the company registration itself, there's more statutory registrations to be done and payments made out every month, taxes and uh, employee uh, taxes also. So that's what I've been working on. And a bit of the finances, the accounting system. Yes, yeah, so Catalina came out from Amsterdam, didn't she? And spent, yes, uh, did. spent time with you as well. And that was useful. Yes, we got to chat about the way forward about finances. Um, it's still a work in progress. There's still a lot to do <clears> and to try and uh, coordinate what we do here with uh, the accounts in, our, in Amsterdam too. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll, I'll just ask you, I mean, are there any big issues you face in terms of, because some of the countries we're working in, it's complicated getting money in and out, isn't it? Yeah. And is it it's tricky? It's not quite the same. In Kenya, it's easy to get money in and out, but before you set up the bank account, and in this case, we're, we're dealing with uh, ACFO Netherlands as a main shareholder, it's a bit hard because they can put a face to ACFO Netherlands. They have to have a signatory and have all these documents verified before they can agree yeah. to open a company. I guess it just goes with the fraud policies. They just have to check yeah. everyone, make sure. Okay, great. Right. Thank you. So, um, Francis, um, yes. almost fallen in the cupboard there. Um, actually, this is the exciting cupboard that has mm. some up for things and stuff. Yeah. Right, so tell me what you've been up to over the last few weeks. Um, for the last you. few weeks, we have been very busy. We are working with the Millennium Wash Alliance. Uh, it's more on uh, data collection where they are working in northern part of Kenya. So we have been moving around trying to train their data collection team on how to use Aquaflow. 
So we did that for the for three organizations, organizations, and um, they are now in the field uh, collecting the data. Most of them are done now; they are just working on the data analysis. Then um, after the MWA uh, exercise, we went to Kisumu. Um, and I joined you. Yeah, you, no, no. Before you joined us, we were. Oh, you were there as at well. Kerich, okay. Okay, where we were doing uh, data collection for UN Habitat. It was just a small pilot to just yeah. show them how the tool can work. So we successfully completed the exercise, and uh, we received all the data. Everybody was excited to see how Aquvo tool they are making work easier to the community. And uh, it, the tools are very easy. You just train people how to use yeah. to use them, and when you send them to the field, you you really get data instantly. Then uh, after after Kericho, that's when you join us to Kisumu, where you're working for with the Food for Water, where we also train them on how to use the mobile tool, uh, yeah. the Aquaflow tool. Actually. And that was the first chance I'd had to see you two <coughs> work as a training double act, we, which we, is we fun are, to see. We are a training double act. <laughs> 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 so we've been, we've been actually on the road, I think the last two months, something nonstop, uh, providing trainings to partners and enumerators on the use flow. Uh, at the same time, we also once in a while also have RSR trainings uh, with local partners from Phyllis went to uh, others, but we did a, a one with you in Hobbit Help before that and I'm sure many more will come as well. So uh, a lot of the work we do here is capacity building of local partners in yeah. the use of our tools. And that these are programs that are underway and we're going in and you're telling you're doing RSR and Flow. Yes. Francis is mainly yes. focusing on Flow at the moment? That's correct. Yeah, I'm focusing on Flow at the moment. Uh, Phyllis and Luke, uh, they also work on RSR, but yeah. sometimes also look jumping in flow. I think for the last uh, flow training we have been doing them with look. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but often it's it, it's starting to become multiple tools at the same time, isn't it? It's yeah. not you know it's just working on a program with a partner now. Exactly, but sometimes uh, within a program or within the partners, the people that need to be trained in the use of flow are not the same people that need to be trained in the use of RSR. Yeah. So you'd have a case like you and Habitat, for example. We did trainings with people who were supposed to be using RSR. Those are completely different people than the training Francis did with the guys using Flow. Yeah. That's something to keep in mind as well. Yeah. Um, and other than that, yeah, so a lot of the programs are, are the ones that we are already committed to. Yeah. Right? Funding is in place and then we usually have a role to either, you know, use our tools in a certain way. Yeah. So Seam is sitting here as well. Yeah, I was gonna say so, so, so just very quickly. Yeah. So seeing you I mean you're you're based in Amsterdam at Zimmerman and Zimmerman yeah. and work with us a lot on developing some of the tools and rolling them out. But tell me what you're here doing this week. Well we're here we're sort of evaluating a project we did with you and Habitat on their open data, mainly on all the projects that they've been working on or are currently working on. And we did a phase two on visualization of their open data projects. But we've added indicator information from the research, research departments. And that's at, is it open.unhabitat.org? That's open.unhabitat.org. Yeah. yeah, and it does look very beautiful. Yes. Wow. I'm pleased with it, how it's Brilliant. looking. Great, and you're also going to be speaking at a track day on Thursday. Yeah, I'll, well. be, I'll be sort of doing a small brief on the new Open8 Netherlands platform. Uh, that's taking shape as well, so I'll briefly talk about that during the Africa Great. day as well. Great, thanks. Um, so Luke, just very yeah. briefly, uh, you, anything else you. you wanted to say just to wrap up? Uh, just, just to that's the question you always ask everybody when so, you interview them. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is you true. see it's difficult that, to answer. It is always, no, so I just want to say, uh, well obviously this, this video message is for the board, I just want to say that uh, we're very busy here in Kenya, we're working hard, and I think that slowly by slowly our presence uh, is making a big difference in, in the work that we're doing, uh, especially in this region. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody.